Hey guys, I'm Brayden from EG4 Electronics, and today I want to show you how to update the firmware on the EG4 6500EX. There are some additional steps than there were previously, so we want to make sure that you know exactly what to do. Let's get started. So to start the update, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your inverter is turned on. And while that's running, we'll go ahead and open up the bag that contains our firmware cable. If you have one of the old blue firmware cables, this should still also work as well. So we'll get that out, and then you want to plug this cable into right there. The USB will go into your computer or laptop. Alrighty, so once you've plugged up your USB into your computer, you want to navigate to eg4electronics.com slash downloads, and then scroll down to the inverters, and then under the EG4 6500EX, 48. Click on the stationary firmware and that will download the latest firmware. So once you have that, you'll drag it onto your desktop. Let's see here. And it'll give you two folders. The first folder that we're going to want to open is labeled the MCU and it will have a lower number, 61, as opposed to 79. We want to run this one first. A lot of error 32s will happen if you run the inverter update before the um, display update, and that's because the uh, display needs to be updated uh, past the inverter. So if you're experiencing error 32, um, try the display update first, um, and that, that will probably resolve that problem. So you want to update your MCU, um, but first we need to make sure we're on the correct COM port, so we're on COM5. If we need to double check, we have multiple or um, we have a, a list of them, then we'll go to Device Manager and we'll see USB Serial Port COM5. So we know that we're on COM5. Then we'll update MCU. And now that the COM5 has been opened, it is now flashing the firmware to the screen. Like I said, we have already updated to 61.12, but uh, you can still do this anyways and make sure that your display screen is up to date. Alrighty, the display has now updated. If you were going from a previous version to a new version, there should be a pop-up that says uh, program successful. Um, but since we were on the same version, all it did was, you know, COM was closed and everything was verified with the reflash. So we're good to go there. We're now able to exit and move on to the inverter itself. So currently we're on 79.66. This is an update for 79.7. So we want to open up the arena reflash tool. Now, remember we're on COM5, so you want to make sure that you're on the proper COM. We'll click File, and this should be the only one that it lets you do. It's the .inv, so we'll pull that up. Once we click Update Firmware, we'll hear our inverter, click Off. Now we're going through with the update. Alrighty, we've now successfully updated the inverter itself. So we heard a little click and the inverter is booting back up. This one says programming successful. So click OK and we're good to exit. If the update was unsuccessful, you want to make sure that the drivers in your cable are up to date. So you can go to your device manager, go to properties on the cable, go to your driver and make sure that your drivers are up to date. If you experience error 32, that is most likely due to doing the steps out of order, flashing the inverter before you do the display, 
Um, and if you experience the error one, and then there's an upside down A, then you accidentally flashed the wrong model of inverter onto the 6.5. So if you have the 6Ks firmware and you flash that, that will give you that problem. So you don't want to do that. But let's go back to the inverter and check to make sure that it has the correct firmware now. Now we want to check to make sure that our firmware is correct. We can press up a couple times. It's a little quicker than pressing the down button. And we see on U1, 79.70. And then on U2, of course, we still have the same display firmware. We have 61.12. Thank you for watching our refreshed guide on the EG4 6500EX. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content and leave a like and a comment down below. I'm Braden. Thank you for watching.